Morning everyone. So the last 3D tutorial I did, did like, uh, really well, so I guess I'm making another one. And what better topic to go over than coloring models, specifically Roblox models. In this video I'm going to cover three different ways you can texture your models. One is going to be the easy way, the fast way, you know, that one thing you can just do in like three minutes. Uh, second one is going to be a little bit more difficult. And the third way is going to be like, if you want your models to look photorealistic. Alright, without further ado, uh, let's get started. Let me paint you a scenario. You just finished the coolest freaking looking 3D model in the world, and you want to add some color to it. But all of a sudden, you get a notification. It's Canvas. You have 132 missing assignments, and you only have 5 minutes to color this before you have to start doing your homework. And that's exactly what this method is for. To start with this method, open up your object in Blender, then tab into edit mode and separate it so that every single part of it that you want to be a different color is a different mesh. To do this, select all the faces that you want to be a different color, right click and hit separate by selection. You might have to add a couple loop cuts to select all the faces that you need. Now that your mesh is separated into all the different pieces that you need, you're going to select them both, hit file, export, and FBX. Then, name your file, and in the top right, make sure that selected objects is checked, and change the scale to something like 0 0.02, then click export. Now go into Roblox Studio, and under the view tab, make sure that the asset manager is checked. Now under the asset manager, hit meshes, and then the little upload icon. Then, locate your mesh, and hit open. A couple important things to know are that the mesh won't import if your mesh has over 10,000 triangles, and your studio place has to be published in order to use the asset manager. Once your mesh is finished importing, shift select all the objects, right click, and hit insert with location. Now that your objects have been imported, you can just color them using studio colors and materials. I usually like to use smooth plastic since it just uses solid colors that way. NEXT METHOD! So you can actually afford to put some time into this. Oh, good for you for managing your time well. Start off by adding in an image texture, then take the base color of that image texture and plug it into the color of the principled BSDF. Now for this next part, you guys are going to have to google some stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's right, even though this is a tutorial, I'm still making you guys look up stuff on your own. So, look for an image texture. This can be anything from like a pattern of bricks, to a cool patch of rocks, or anything you think that looks cool. And save it to your computer, and open it in the image texture in Blender. And this random brick one I found online actually looks really good. So, the next step is the hard part. We're going to go into the tab that says UV editing at the top, and we're going to UV unwrap the object. Since as you can see right now, the image texture looks pretty bad. Essentially, UV unwrapping an object just means to take every single individual face and project it onto a 2D surface so that you can line up textures onto them. Alright, let's do it. Press A to select all faces, U, Smart UV Project, and then OK. And you're almost done. Now the trick is to go into the UV editing panel and move around, scale, and rotate all the faces till it all looks good and makes sense. All the faces under the UV editing tab can be manipulated just like normal faces, like you can scale them, rotate them, move them around all with the same commands, and basically moving them around in that space will change like the texture's position on the face in the viewport. Do not stress too much about this step, since UV editing can be a pretty stressful process and it can take a long time to get good at. And the UV editing tab has something called linked selectability, which basically means when you select a face in your Blender viewport, that's the face that'll be highlighted in the UV editing tab, so you know exactly which face you're editing. Oh dang, that looks tasty! Now obviously, as I said earlier, be patient with yourself when you're doing UV editing, because it is really difficult, and even I still have a lot of problems with it. Once you're done though, you can use the same method as last time to bring it into Roblox Studio, except this time, export it as an OBJ instead of an FBX. Ah, the final method. No, I'm not going to be going into as much detail on this method as the other couple of methods, mainly because this one is a lot more difficult and it actually costs money. So if you really want to take your textures to the next level, you know, you want them to just look absolutely photorealistic and perfect, then you're going to want to download Adobe Substance Painter. Now, depending on like what kind of discounts you might find on it, I think it's roughly $20 to $30 per month, so it does cost a decent amount of money but you can make some really, really cool textures with it. What you would do is import your model into Substance Painter, 
obviously uh, go through the software to give it textures. It's sort of like Photoshop, but for 3D objects. Then you would export those individual textures and bring them into Roblox Studio using a surface appearance. So this method is really cool. I've used it a couple times myself because Adobe Substance Painter is a really good software. But the reason why I don't go into a lot of detail is because Substance Painter takes a long time to learn and I don't really want to explain it all in this one video. And it does cost a decent amount of money so I know it's not available to everyone, but I'm just explaining this method as something you could do if you really wanted to take your models to the next level. But I'll make you guys a deal. If by June of 2023 we can hit a thousand subscribers, I will give away a couple temporary subscriptions to Adobe Substance Painter and make a full tutorial on how you can use it to color Roblox models. Alright, bye for now boys, and I hope you learned something today.